Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to make an accordion interaction in Storyline. So I've just inserted a shape here and on the shape I'm just going to put a little subheading title. Now the text is still running left to right here so if I come up to in the home tab text direction I can rotate that 270 and have it fitting, aligning uh, the same direction as the shape. Then I'm going to name this shape in the timeline and I'm going to duplicate this shape a couple of times. So for each of the amount of accordions that I want. So in this case, I'm going to just do four. So I'll just rename them four, three, and two. And what I should also do, it doesn't look too bad, but if I highlight them all, come to a range, align, distribute horizontally, just to make sure they're all nice and evenly spaced. And just also making sure they're named in the timeline as well. Then I'm going to create a layer for each because each layer is going to have a piece of text on it, corresponding piece of text. Then I'm going to come back to the base and I'm going to add triggers to show it each of the layers. So show layer one when the user clicks the sub one heading. Now to save a little bit of time, I'm now going to just copy this trigger and paste it on my sub2 object, but just need to change the layer name. Paste it onto my sub3 heading, change the layer name, paste it onto layer 4, change the layer name. Then on my layers, what I can do is, starting on layer 4, I like to start with the end one. Go to layer 4, I'm going to insert a text box. I'll just call it subheading 4. Put in some dummy text. So this will be displayed when the user clicks on the subheading 4. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my... I'm sorry, I'm going to copy this piece of text come to layer 3, paste it on, and then I'm going to move it across so it's sitting next to layer 3. Now, I don't want this heading 4 to be showing, so if I come to the timeline of this layer and I open up my base layer objects, I can hide my layer 4 underneath, just change this heading, and then I can do the same for my other two layers. Move this across so this will be for layer 2, and hide those two underneath. And the same for layer 1. Move that across. And hide those three underneath. Then what I can do is, when a layer is showing, the other parts of the accordion need to move to the other side of the slide here, or the slide layer. So from the base, I'm going to copy 2, 3, and 4. Paste it on layer 1 and slide them over to the right, like so. And then from here, I'm going to copy 3 and 4, come up to layer 2, paste them on. And from here, I'm going to copy number 4, paste it on layer 3. So that when each of the layers is showing, the headings will move into a different position. So let's have a look, see if that's working okay. And I can move around to the different layers. So there you have it, a simple accordion interaction in Storyline 2.